been an excellent one at home against Dagenham. Your thoughts? Listen, not a classic performance by us. Not exactly how we want to play. But we are a little bit depleted at the minute. And I thought our squad and the character of our group did really well today. Uh, we dug deep. We scored at a brilliant time just before half time. Big moments in the game. Um, obviously, they've taken the lead sort of against the run of play. And they made it difficult for us. Uh, they defended deep. They defended in numbers. And then I think we're about 10 minutes to go to half time. Josh has made a brilliant save from a point blank header from Effion. So uh, that was a big moment in the game. And then obviously the bit of magic from Jordan Maguire drew to get us the equaliser. Cross goes in. Great position by Nicky. Great header. And then second half, we just spoke to the lads at half time. It's about grinding a win out. It's just one of them horrible, really bitter, cold nights. And we managed to do that. And I'm delighted for Brunty because he needs to affect the game with more goals. I've said that several times in this camera. I spoke to him about it yesterday um, in some coin words. And uh, I'm delighted he come on. And I did say at half time, we need the people like the players like the Brunts, the Canoes, the Jordan Maguire Drews to step up and, and win, a, win a game that's going to be tight. And uh, in the end, as well, to be fair, our goalies made several saves at the end as well to keep us uh, to, uh, so we could gain all three points. So, really, really good team performance and uh, ugly, but we're happy. After Saturday's defeat and then go 1-0 one, one down in the first half, it showed great car character from the group to bounce back and get a win today. Yeah, we have got character. We've bundles of it, to be honest with you. Um, I know that already. You don't win 17, 18 games or have we won in this division already if you don't have that. Um, I just thought Saturday, when you reflect back on it, um, we just started like on the wrong foot. It was a long, long day. Um, and I'm putting it down to that, really. Um, the biggest concern for us tonight now is Pritchard's off now with a calf injury. We've got several injuries in the group, so we will have to reinforce. We're going to have to move fast within the market and see what we can do. So, and the other the other lads that are involved, people like Ben Winton hasn't played regularly, they're going to have to come back in and do jobs for us. Marvin Armstrong, people like that. So, um, we're all going to have to dig deep now and uh, and dig through these winter winter months. As you just mentioned about Pritchard, another in injury blow. Is there going to be any option of bringing anyone in on loan during this January transfer window? Yeah, we're always trying to upgrade the squad. I don't want to replace Peter or Paul at the end of the day. That's so important. We want to bring in better players than what we've got already. So we're always searching. It's that time of the year. I've got agents blowing my phone up day in, day out. So we'll continue to search and make sure we bring in the right characters. It's so important we bring in the right characters uh, for our cause. We've got a big cause. We've got four months left of the season now. And uh, these are, this is this is the back stretch. We're not on the home stretch just yet. We get to that just before Easter. So um, a good gritty win tonight, and then we'll see how we'll see how the walk moon there over the next few days. Obviously, we've got the trophy this weekend, which is another tough tough toy because we've got to go up there. And the two lads up there now now wear division inside out. To be fair to them, uh, they've got a lot of experience within their group, and they're flying high in their division. So that'll be another tough test for us. As you mentioned, obviously Pritchard had to come off at half time because of that injury, but Brunt came on excellent second half and that goal. What, what were your messages to him at half time before coming on? Yeah, I felt that someone like a Brunty, someone like a Jordan Maguire drill was going to be the difference in the game. That bit of class, that bit of quality. Great force touch. Obviously, Cross comes in from the right hand side. Great force touch and he controlled his finish excellently. And he's got that in his locker. But I believe Brunty should be scoring 18, 19 goals in this division and he can definitely set up the same. I think he's now had about 14 goal involvements. He needs to score more goals. Um, and goals like that he's got the capabilities of doing and that's why we have su such high expectations of him he is a young lad um, and he's learning he's only 22 he's just only 22 so we have to obviously understand that as well it can be a little bit inconsistent with his performance but all in all he's, uh, he's the difference tonight in the game We've got a break from league action now with that FA Trophy game away to Radcliffe how's this next couple of, couple of days going to look for you and the group? Just recovery uh, we'll travel a Friday this time which will be better um, we stay overnight so that's going to help us a lot and um, Jay's going to be very busy in her room now, so we've got several injuries. We'll see how they are. Um, the great thing for us here, we've got Tick Health. It's got amazing facilities. We've got amazing people here, staff around the place. So we're blessed with what we've got. So we know we'll have the best care for our players. Um, and we'll see what group we can put together. And we'll go there and we'll do our best again. Dean, thank you for your time. Cheers, guys. Thanks.